When I was in the SES regiment, I was passing the clock tower, and for a moment I had a look at it. And it's got the names of all the lads that have died in combat and training, more so in training. So I'm looking at the names, died by drowning, died by drowning. Die by drowning. Die by drowning. Hmm. Huh. That's a problem, isn't it? I'm in boat troop. Have I got something to worry about? Why are all these guys dying by drowning? And after the Falklands episode and the helicopter, that clock tower must be full. Die by drowning. After operating with boat troop, Peace Squadron, I now know why the lads died by drowning, and it's four piece, piss poor planning and preparation. That's why they died. Let me give you an example. Right, the boat troop officer, I won't see his name. I see his Christian name, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur was a Rupert, a very rich Rupert. He had several polo ponies on his estate. Now he was the guy planning our exercises, but he never went on them. He was too busy riding his polo points. So wrote the exercise, organized it, and the sergeant took over and we carried out the mission. This one specific mission, well, go back a couple. We'd done a, a beach landing off Pool Harbor, proved a disaster. We lost weapons and nearly lost men. I'm starting to understand piss poor planning and preparation. We do jumping out of an aeroplane the first time with a zodiac. The wind was too high. The current was too strong. We weren't experienced, yet this threw us out in extreme conditions. Again, piss poor planning and preparation. Again, lads nearly died. Now, let me tell you about this third episode of piss poor planning and preparation. So, the mission was, which was our NATO mission, to go behind enemy lines. We put a Zodiac in a C-130 and six to eight lads could parachute out after the Zodiac Take the parachutes off the Zodiac, put on the Johnson 40 engine, and pick everybody up that was unable to swim to the Zodiac. In the daytime, it was a problem. At night time, this was the new mission. We would have fly and did fly from uh, Bryce Norton into Germany, and we were going to a big lake, 200 foot. So, again, the inner Hercules. Dirty smelling aeroplane, no toilet. We were in wetsuits, no, sorry, dry suits. Dry suits. Now, these dry suits were designed like a Durex and a small Durex to put on. So, a very tight, hard to get on your head, hard to get on your arms, and hard to get on your ankles because it had to be tight to keep the water out. But they were very thin. They were very thin, and often when you tried to put them on, they would split because they were old. So, there are us, I mean, it's the last bit, it's like the top of a Durex going up. You try to get your head in, and you put your hood on, and you've got to put a, 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 steel, put a steel ring around and tighten it up and make it all watertight. So, yeah, I am 200 foot above ground. In a Hercules, go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. We get to Germany, 
and uh, red light comes on warning us about to jump the tail comes down so we push the boat out onto the tail so I'm standing there I thought I'm gonna get out first this time because last time I got out last and had I nearly ended up in France so this time I thought I'll try and get out first so I pulled the boat out and the lads were at the side of the boat everybody grouped together and so those two boats two aeroplanes going out so we're standing on ready to ready to jump so we're told action stations the c-130 goes to 800 feet and i'm standing there looking around beautiful 800 feet i'm going to go oh, big city on my right then all of a sudden oh no moon no moon so i'm thinking i'm sticking with this boat as near as i can because if i'm 100 yards away i'm not going to even find it they didn't fix a like a flashing light or anything on the boat nothing like that so pitch black you got to find this boat in a big lake in the dark this is a recipe for disaster for sure so i had this in my mind and i was looking forward to getting out because i was dying for a piss and you can't piss in a, a dry suit you can piss in a wet suit and it's like simple heating it warms you up straight away but a dry suit you can't do it so i was looking forward to getting out then everything's pitch black except outside you could see this big city and street lights and whatnot and the next thing a flash like lightning like a big lightning strike and you hear the sound boom drop cancer the other airplane I jumped didn't even come near the lake but they all drifted towards the city's power lines so the stealth mission was compromised with this explosion and lightning and I'm looking and the city went blank it took down the whole city so this was the stealth mission of the SCS to land behind enemy lines just imagine if we've been in Russia <laughs> you gotta laugh these fucking idiots that run these things British Army I don't think it's changed eh? it's run by Rupert's run by Rupert's so basically that's the stealth mission attacking the Russians and I think on this occasion the Russians would have won the war and captured us for sure if we jumped fortunately the pilot was ordered to abandon the mission as the first airplane load had caused so much damage and it was a total disaster fortunately nobody was killed believe it or not because it was the parachutes that went into the uh, pylons I don't know, the burnt parachutes and lads fell onto the ground, but they survived to live another day by attempted murder by drowning. Now, piss poor planning and preparation. Like a beacon on the boat, so in the night time we would see it. Would have been a good idea. But I'm not an officer. Now, they had a little tube. With compressed air that you could breathe for 10 minutes now wouldn't it be a good idea life jackets are a pain in the ass and they're good especially getting out of uh, confined spaces like airplanes and helicopters but if you had at your side a 10 minute supply of air you could get out of helicopters maybe in the Falklands all them lads may have survived they could have dropped all the weapons took all the heavy kit off they got there's the helicopters going underwater get the air into your mouth take off all the gear open the door swim out easy but you need a brain to organize a mission and we had Rupert's and that's why British soldiers die because Sanders is full of rupees 
So this is another, another educational video why you should not join the British Army until they exterminate Ruperts by drowning the bastards. Mr. Tenbox, a man that often comments on my videos. I didn't make it back to England before having to have a pee. Yes, I peed in my dry suit. Remember what I said in the beginning? Piss, pour, planning and preparation. Over and out.